Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a quick introduction to the new SharePoint News for Email feature. In this particular feature, Microsoft has announced that we can use this feature to allow everyone to easily send our SharePoint news post as an email message to anyone like our audience. With this new for email feature, we can select a made for email template that will format our news post easy reading in an email inbox. Track how many people opened and read the mail messages and customize the subject line and body of our email message. In this video, we will go and see this in an action. So right now I am in my development environment and I am going to click on this new button and then select a news post. So as you can see there are new templates, new news templates are available, uh, blank news and newsletter. I can set them as default selection. So if I set them as a default selection then a user cannot go and change the view for that page. So right now let me just go and select this news later as my template and as you can see uh, this is what uh, my uh, news later or this particular page will look inside an inbox of the user. Let me go and click on this create post and post as email. Okay the uh, creator is me and uh, let me just go and try to edit some of the text in here uh, before before doing that let me just go and show you the number of components available as this particular template called as made for email so these are the components which we can use to add on to the page and it will look proper let's say a divider an image uh, we can select any of the image like site icon image any of the stock images or uh, upload images or anything let me select this and click insert. I can then just go and uh, change or resize this particular uh, image. Let's say I want it to be look like this and then what I can do is I can align it. Let's say I want to align it to the left, left hand side of the page. I'm not going to make any other changes into this because these are all dummy text. But let me just go and change a value from the May to August for example I'm not going to make uh, any other changes in these particular sections and uh, going to click on this post and send so this will post my this will create my page and then it will ask me to send this particular page as a news uh, news post as an email and it will also preview how that will look inside an email itself okay so I can provide and two address so let's say I'm selecting my name in this particular case if I want to provide any CC or if I want to change the subject line let's say I want to create it at look at this post send as an email okay if I want to add any additional messages that is an optional field and this is how my message will be previewed and then I can click on this send button to send this particular page as an email so I'm logged in with my outlook outlook account for this Sigur the way user so let me just go and open it so as you can see new email has been arrived it has the subject line as I added and uh, the whole page is available in the email and it looks fabulous in this outlook web it is also work same way in the other clients as well as in the mobile device as well okay so this is how we can send the whole page of SharePoint in the email and if I want to view that page I can just click on that view in SharePoint link and then it will redirect me to that page the other thing which we can uh, validate in here is uh, how we can this is the preview actually so how it will look it is displaying that preview in here okay and the other thing is we have this um, analytics tab so if I click on that analytic text if it will show me the number of page views 
of this page let's say how many people has a uh, uh, view our page uh, access it from the email and all that stuff we can have all the page views page viewers who are the page viewers for the last seven days 30 days or 90 days of data in here and uh, this is very very basic metrics I can say like analytics metrics but it helps to, to let us understand like how people are uh, communicating or how people are interacting with the emails which we are sending to the persons and uh, this is just a demo page so we can we don't have that much of data but in 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 uh, actual world it will have some some more specific data to this as well and uh, one more thing which i want to add in here is uh, uh, if i go and edit this page let's say i'm adding one more one more change in here like august 2023 and now i post and send so it says like this will update your published news post with the changes but it will not change or not notify other users so that means now if I select my name and send this message one more time let me just go and add a, add a notif uh, optional message in here let's say optional and if I go and send it send it now I can send it as a link as well I will I will show you that in a moment so now the email is sent I am going to receive one more email in in here just in a moment I guess yeah it's there so as you can see I have received another email but that doesn't change the old email right that has the August and the new one has the August 2023 20, so that means whenever you do a new publish it will it, you can send a new email but that doesn't make any change to the old one the other thing is I can send an this this particular news post as a simple link instead of showing the whole page so i can toggle this button send as link add my optional message and this is how it will look so if i send this now and uh, let's let me email has been sent so let me just go and uh, check my outlook so as you see this is how that particular that particular post will be look will look inside an email okay so this is the change we have the one more thing which i want to add in here is uh, whenever you are making any of the change or whenever someone is receiving an email they have an access to that particular page content only but the site permissions or the list or library or any other permissions on the site is not going to be changed so nothing to worry in that particular case he he or she has an access to that particular page content only okay so yeah this is this is a very quick intro about this uh, particular uh, send post as an email functionality of the new functionality added into this app and this is still in the uh, in the uh, deployment in, in the deployment phase from the Microsoft itself so your tenant may or may not may or may not have this functionality available to you at this moment but yeah it is going to be there uh, for sure okay so yeah that's it in this video i hope you like this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet you can click on the subscribe button and uh, please provide your valuable comments in the comment section as well thank you